Welcome to CS in Math. This is going to be the video that's going to walk you through the right triangle trigonometry project. So the goal for this project is to create a program that asks for two pieces of a right triangle. And the program will solve for the rest of the angles and the rest of the sides. Let's get started. So you'll see the first thing that I've got on my screen here is I have created some sprites. I imported this triangle from online by coming down here and hitting upload sprite. So you'll notice if I come into the costumes on this sprite, I've added in this angle. This is going to be kind of my, my reference angle for this project. So the angle that the user is inputting. I also created some buttons. So these were the different options that I would like users to input some of this information. So they could input two legs, they could input one leg at the hypotenuse, so forth. So I created these buttons using the paint tool. So I've got my sprites here. My next step is I am going to create some variables. I need to create five for this program. So I'm going to come down to variables and I'm going to hit make a variable. I'm going to start with angle one, angle two, hypotenuse, leg one, and leg two. And notice how these all appeared on the screen. So the next step is I want to correlate these to the position they're going to be in. So I'm going to have my angle one down below here, angle two is going to be at the top, my hypotenuse, leg one, and leg two. So the very first thing I'm going to do, and notice I'm clicked on my triangle here, is I am going to say when this program starts, I want to hide all of my variables so that they're not showing. So I'm going to drag out a couple of these, and notice you can right click and duplicate any of these. And I want to hide all of my variables. So I'm gonna hide angle one, angle two, the hypotenuse, leg one, and leg two. This so way when I start my program, these angles and sides are hidden. Great. So the next piece we're going to do is we need some similar code on each of these, each of these buttons that we created. So for example, two legs is where we're going to start. So when this right is clicked, so if the user chooses, I'm going to import two legs. So we'll find this in events when this right is clicked. We're going to start by incensing, asking a question. We want their input. We're going to say, what is the length of the first leg? And whatever they type in, we're going to set to leg one. So we'll store their answer that they type into leg one. And then I want to show this variable once this happens. So we will show leg one after they type this in. We'll do the same here. I'm actually going to hit duplicate, save us a little time. What is the length of the second leg? We'll set leg two to that answer, and we'll show leg two. Now, I'm going to actually duplicate this, and I'm going to put this in my backpack, which is in the bottom of the screen here, because we're going to use this similar code for each of our sides here. So the next one, I'm going to drag this up. So I clicked my one leg in hypotenuse. So now we're going to ask, what is the length of the leg? And I'm going to store this to leg one. What is the length of the hypotenuse? And we'll set the hypotenuse, and we'll show the hypotenuse. So you can see kind of how this is going. We'll move over to my next one, and we'll drag this up. So now we've got, what is the degree measure of the angle? What is the length of the opposite side? So we're going to go angle one, angle one, leg one would be the opposite according to our diagram, and leg one. Couple more, and now we've got angle in the adjacent side. So what 
is the degree measure of the angle. And we'll set angle one and angle one. And what is the length of the adjacent side? Well, I'll be specific and say adjacent leg. And we'll set this, yep, leg two and leg two. And one more. So in our final one, we have, what is the degree measure of the angle? And we'll go angle one, angle one. And what is the length of the hypotenuse? So we have just stored all of our situations here. Now we've got to get to the math. So we're going to back up here. We'll start with our two legs. If two legs were imported, we are, I'm going to pop over to the student guide here to guide us. So two legs here. We've got a little bit of help. So I look at this picture and I want to start by solving for the hypotenuse. I'm going to use the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem to do this. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're going to need the square root of this information. So what we're going to do here is we are going to set our hypotenuse to, you can find the square root under operators, square root of, we are going to have leg one times leg one, leg two times leg two. So you'll notice scratch doesn't have a squared block, so this, this, um, this works. And we're going to add these things together. So we're going to have leg one squared plus leg two squared and the square root of this. Great. Now let's make this small. There we go. All right, next, we are going to work on, well, first let's show this. After we solve this, let's show our hypotenuse. And then back to our student guide. The next piece we want to do is solve for our angle one. So if we're solving for this angle here, we have the opposite and adjacent signs. So we're going to use tangent. So we can think we're going to have tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. So we're going to be using inverse tangent here. Or in scratch, we can, so we're setting angle one, we can find that here towards the bottom. And here we are. And we're going to take leg one divided by leg two. Great, and we will show this variable, angle one. And angle two is pretty easy to solve for. We know already two angles in the triangle, so we could do 180 both of, or minus both of them, or we could just do 90 minus the angle we just solved for, angle one. Great, we are one side programmed, or one situation programmed, the two legs. So the next one we will jump into is one leg in the hypotenuse. So in this situation, let's come back to the student guide. We've got one leg, leg one, and the hypotenuse here. So first off, to solve for leg two, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem again. And we're going to take the hypotenuse squared minus leg one squared and square root this to find the other leg. So a similar code here. We're going to set leg two to the square root of, we're going to need leg one and the hypotenuse. And we're squaring both of these.
and subtracting. So we're going to take the square root of the hypotenuse minus my leg to get my other leg here. And then we will show the leg once we have solved for it. So show leg two. Great, then if I go back to the student guide and I look at this angle here. So if I wanna solve for this angle, I've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. So I'm gonna use sine. Sine of this angle equals 30 over four. So in this case, again, we're going to be using inverse sine. So we're gonna set our angle one to inverse sine of our leg one divided by the hypotenuse. And then we'll show angle one. And again, at the end, it's kind of nice because we can set angle two, once we know angle one, to 90 minus angle one. And we will show this variable here at the end. Wonderful, two situations down. Next situation we will look at is the angle and opposite side. So come back into the student guide. Angle and opposite side, we've got, to start here, we have, we'll solve for this leg. So we're gonna take tangent of 30 equals the opposite over the adjacent. We're looking for the adjacent here. So as I code this, we are going to set leg two to leg one, which we already know, divided by the tangent of angle one. And then we will show this leg. And next, we're gonna set our hypotenuse. And if we look at this picture again, our hypotenuse, we are going to use sine. So we know the opposite and we need to know the hypotenuse. So sine of 30 equals two over that hypotenuse. So as we come in here, we're going to have similar code. I'm gonna actually duplicate this. And we're going to have leg one divided by sine of angle one. And then we can show this variable. And finally here, setting angle two again, to 90 minus angle one. And then we can show angle two as well. Great, on to angle and adjacent side. So in this case, we are gonna start by, we'll see as you get towards the end of the student guide, this gets a little bit less um, guided. So students are a little bit more on their own now that they're a little bit further. So angle and adjacent side, we're gonna start by solving for leg one. So we have an angle and we have our hypotenuse. And if we're gonna to aim to solve for leg one here, we're gonna use, sorry, we're down here. So we've got our angle and our adjacent side. So we have, um, we can use tangent here as we take tan of 30, tangent of 30, over the opposite and adjacent. So as I come back to my code here, we're going to set leg one to leg two times, in this case, leg two times tangent of angle one. Now we need to show our leg one now that we've solved for it. And the next piece of our triangle we're going to solve for is the hypotenuse. So in the hypotenuse here, we have our adjacent side and, we and we're going to find the hypotenuse. So we're gonna be using cosine. So we'll find cosine of 30 equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So when we're solving this, we're gonna be setting the hypotenuse to 90 
two, our leg two divided by cosine of angle one. And then we can show this variable as well. And finally, again, setting our angle two to be 90 minus angle one and showing this angle. Great, and one more side left to go. So now we've got our angle and our hypotenuse. So if we come back to our picture here, we're gonna start by solving for leg one. So we're gonna be using sine. We've got sine of 30 equals the opposite, which we don't know, over four. So we're gonna be setting leg one to the hypotenuse times, as we said, we're gonna take sine of, oops, sine of angle one. Then we're gonna show this variable. And then we can come in here and we're gonna solve for leg two. So if we come back to our picture, leg two, now we know we're gonna take cosine of 30 and we've got the adjacent side, which we don't know, over four. So I'm gonna again duplicate this piece because it's gonna be very similar. And we're going to set leg two to the hypotenuse times cosine of angle one. And we're going to show leg two. And again, this angle two at the end, so we're gonna set angle two to be 90 minus angle one, and we'll show this angle as well. So as we were to run this program, the user is going to pick one of these pieces, they're gonna input them, and the program will solve for the rest of the angles and the sides, and they'll show on the triangle as you as the program solves for it. So my students are currently doing this project right now, and the conversation among what inputs do you need, a conversation among ratios and how to solve for each of these sides and angles has been really, really strong. I can tell my students' understanding is becoming a lot deeper, all while them getting this experience with code in the math classroom. Best of luck.